Hey guys, I'm Kristen, a realtor in the DFW area. And if you've stumbled across my videos, then you are likely looking for a little bit of country living. If that's the case, then you are in the right place because we're going to take a deep dive into the best places to find homes with land in DFW. Now by land, I mean homes that are primarily on lot sizes of one to three acres. We're also looking at homes that are 2000 and newer because that's where the most inventory is available. And another thing to note is if you are looking for a little more space, you're likely gonna have to go outside of the Metroplex to the north or the south side of Fort Worth, and the northeast or the southeast side of Dallas. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at homes that are in Fort Worth. Now, if you've heard of Dallas, you've likely heard of Fort Worth. It is a huge city with a 354 square mile radius. It has a population of nearly 100,000 people. Now, when comparing it to Dallas, I personally prefer Fort Worth. I lived in this area my entire life, and in my opinion, Fort Worth is just a little more laid back. It's pretty common to go to a nice dinner and still see people in cowboy hats, boots, and jeans. So some fun facts about Fort Worth. If you didn't know, it is home to the famous Fort Worth Stockyards which still hosts daily cattle drives at 11.30 a.m. every morning. It was recently renovated, it has a ton of cool shops, historic locations, as well as some pretty amazing hotels. Fort Worth is also home to one of the top rated zoos in the nation, as well as home to Texas Motor Speedway, which is one of the largest racetracks in the world. So obviously when scoping out homes in the Fort Worth area, you don't have to worry about being far away from any amenities. You're pretty close to everything you need. Fort Worth has everything you could think of, such as restaurants, hotels, grocery stores, hardware stores, medical care, and more. However, I do wanna point out some of the hot spots that the locals love. So if you ever do venture out this way, you know which places to check out. First is the infamous Sundance Square in downtown which is a super cool hangout spot with tons of restaurants, fountains, and also a great place where you can take in a lot of the local history. Now, Clear Fork is a newer, more urban area right off of the trailhead of Trinity Trails. It features a ton of high-end shops as well as some very unique restaurants. And then lastly, we have the University Park area, which is also home to several upscale stores, restaurants such as HG Supply, Press Cafe, the Zoo, and Trinity Park. So now let's talk about the real estate in Fort Worth. Something to note is that the closer you get to the city, likely the more land you have, the higher prices you're gonna pay. Fort Worth is a highly populated area. However, there still are several beautiful homes on one to three acre lots or more. These homes technically don't have a country feel. They're more of high-end luxury estates. So if you are a person that is not limited by budget and you wanna be close to amenities, then some of these neighborhoods will be great locations for you to check out in your home search. So home prices for homes with land in Fort Worth range from 200,000 all the way up to 6 million. Lot sizes are on average from one to two acres. The average sales price is around $205 a square foot. The average home size is about 4,000 square feet, and you can expect property taxes to be closer to about 2%. So the first neighborhood we're gonna take a look at is Bella Flora. Bella Flora is about 20 minutes southwest of Fort Worth off of Highway 377. It's a beautiful, massive neighborhood with tons of inventory and still lots to build on. Prices in this neighborhood range from 500,000 to a million dollars. The average home size in this neighborhood is about 4,000 square feet, and most homes feature about one to three acre lot sizes. Sales prices are around $195 a square foot. And as you can see, there's a wide range of styles from traditional to modern and modern farmhouse, 
and most of the homes feature stunning open views. The next neighborhood we're gonna take a look at is Alito Ridge, which is a smaller pocket of custom builds about 20 minutes west of downtown Fort Worth. Prices range from 500,000 to 800,000. Lot sizes are about one to two acres. And the average home size in this neighborhood is around 3,200 square feet with exterior finishes that are more on the modern side, which means you're typically gonna see bolder colors such as blues, blacks, and a ton of crisp, clean lines and beautiful high-end finishes. Then last and certainly but not least, because it is probably my favorite of all the neighborhoods we took a look at today, is Covered Bridge Canyon. Homes in this neighborhood are a little bit older and more established. As you can see, there are generally really large lot sizes where the front of the home starts far back on the acre, which gives it a ton of privacy beautiful tree coverage, shade, and some beautiful outdoor spaces. This neighborhood, when you drive through it, is really captivating. I personally feel like the video just doesn't do it justice. As you go from one part to the next, there's beautiful rolling hills. Every home is custom and has its own character with unique features. You see a lot of homes with more European styles over to traditional styles, and then even some Mediterranean styles. This neighborhood is located about 25 minutes west from downtown off of Highway I-30. Prices start around 700,000 and go all the way up to about 1.2 million. Lot sizes are around one to two acres. The average home size is about 3,500 square feet and the price per square foot is around $190. Well, that wraps up our tour of Fort Worth neighborhoods for today. Be sure to check out my other videos for great hot spots to find more homes with land. Also, if you're considering buying or selling anytime in the near future, my contact info is below. Feel free to reach out anytime.